Oh, Check. Okay. Are we live? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, guys, for the uh, sound breakup. Uh, but yeah. Change. So the, the 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 last part we were uh, discussing about was there was uh, one unit left uh, in our uh, October batch. August. August. There's no such thing as October. Maybe I should do the talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just read. I will talk. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna follow follow the follow up <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I don't know how many, how, how much you got, uh, because uh, uh, some people told us that there was no sound. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just repeat. I'll just repeat everything that we said. So sure. far. it wasn't clever anyway. Uh, so yeah, I mean, our campaign is over. We have uh, didn't met our craziest uh, goals. We uh, this, this was more than anybody uh, imagined yeah. we could do. Uh, all of our units were sold out uh, and uh, uh, a lot of people were emailing us about getting into the August delivery uh, slot and it was literally a couple of minutes before the um, uh, campaign ended officially that somebody cancelled the pledge for the August slot so we got the one August left but uh, that, that, that was, there was not enough time for anybody to snatch it up so I'm sorry for all, all of you that, 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 uh, that uh, got in touch and asked. Um, and so yeah, basically thank you, thank you a lot for uh, this amazing support. It's been really awesome. Uh, and uh, now it's up to us really to uh, deliver uh, all the units to all of you guys on time. We are working our best to do that. Uh, we have uh, put the processes in motion, we've uh, paid for the most, even before, so we didn't get the money from the Kickstarter yet, but we bought the, the, the first batch of micro displays for the first August delivery. We have That's, the lenses. We have the lenses. Uh, we will be ordering new components uh, very soon for September and October deliveries. Uh, so. Uh, the tooling is, is uh, the on process, the way yeah. in the process, so you know we're we're good to meet the the uh, August uh, August deadline. So basically, um, uh, uh, now it's <laughs> now it's uh, uh, you know so far for us it's been uh, uh, you know two and a half years of really hardcore development. Uh, you know, uh, working out all the problems with the you know that you encounter on the development path, uh, communicating a lot with uh, our supporters, talking to a lot of you guys who have told us you know what you would like to see in this product, uh, what you hate in 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 you know products that that are currently being offered, and what would you like to see done differently and a lot of those uh, suggestions were implemented uh, in the, in the you know, final version of the product and uh, now you know this part of development is over and we have new challenges new ahead. challenges ahead of us yeah. so you know the quantities that we committed to deliver are not you know that big you know for us now, this is going to be about uh, setting up the processes and really, uh, you know, uh, uh, building, uh, de doing development of a different kind, developing, developing processes. And, you know, and the processes mean that, you know, you need to uh, be able to deliver uh, a, an awesome product to the user and then being able, especially, you know, with, with a couple of hundred how many? 600 people that we, we had? I think we had 600 people and around 600 and... Uh, no, s slightly below 700 units. Okay. Uh, so a lot. But a lot of that was, were, were packs and packs. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, re reseller rewards. Yeah, and, and you know, the, it will be partly about you know, building and delivering a great product, but also about communicating to fairly small number of, of you know our hardcore supporters that have uh, <laughs> 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 Doctor, you might you, you might join. Doctor, come in, come in. 
Okay, so this is uh, <laughs> this guy. Uh, head of our uh, so our doctor. So we we're with, with a special head here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's not talk about this. <laughs> yeah, let's not, let's, not, let's not talk about this. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so what was I talking about? Uh, uh, no, yeah, but uh, even though uh, from uh, uh, one stand of, uh, standpoint of view, uh, uh, 600 people is, is, is uh, not a lot uh, when you have a um, whole FPV community in mind, but uh, it's very exciting and a challenging process from okay. setting up the, uh, all the uh, processes inside. So I'm thinking like um, we had um, around, I don't know, thousands of messages. So uh, uh, building a process, how to streamline that and offer best possible customers ex customer experiences is very exciting and, 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 and a challenging uh, thing to do uh, in, in, in the same sentence. So. But I, I, you know, what I would really like us to do and, and you know, I, I would feel great if we would succeed in that. All, all of you guys that have supported us in this Kickstarter, you know, you've uh, basically given us your trust uh, you know, really before seeing your product, uh, Kevin, I mean, I know that a lot of people have had a chance to see and try the product here in Nosek, in Paris, and you know, we, we, we went around and, and shown, shown the goggles, but most of the people that supported us didn't really see the product, didn't have yeah. a chance to try it out, and that, that, that's a huge, huge trust that, that, you know, we've been given, and I would, I would, uh, uh, like us to, be able to, you know, engage with this hardcore group of supporters uh, and, and really, you know, give them, uh, 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 um, be, be able to communicate with them and hear them out and, you know, hear their further suggestions, how we could make the next generations of the product better. Because I think, you know, uh, building FPV1 was a lot about really listening to the community. And a lot of, lot of that feedback that the community was given was, was, uh, okay, come here. <laughs> was uh, really implemented in the product. And what, what you know, it, it's, not, it's not only us that, that built the product, it's, it's also the, the feedback that the community was given constantly. You know, we didn't think, we didn't thought about maybe, you know, 40, 50 percent of the features. Mm -hmm. it, it, it just, you know, you just need to listen to people what they what they need. And I think it's now now it's, it's really important to keep keep that uh, uh, conversation going, especially if you have such a devoted group of of, uh, <laughs> of supporters. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, okay, we've been talking a lot. Let's uh, let's uh, let's let's have some questions. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hi Martin, it was very good to meet you. I hope you're still enjoying uh, 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 Croatia. Uh, what do I do if, I, uh, if the bank rejected my payment? So uh, you'll have an opportunity to uh, do your payment again oh, within oh, the next that's, seven that's, days. That's, that's the guy that, that must have cancelled. Can, can, can you check, check him out? No, 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 no. Uh, I, no, I think that the, the, the bank is collecting payment, payments from the uh, ledger and uh, some of them are bouncing back. And right. you're gonna have, um, I, okay, no. I think I know remember this guy that. pretty much, <laughs> pretty much, <laughs> okay. we've, been, we've been talking, okay, um, new colors, so we're gonna announce uh, uh, colors that come into addition to default black tomorrow, uh, we have collected um, one and a half thousand uh, votes for the colors, so we have a very good pattern. Hi, Dave. Thanks, Michael. I'm reading Michael Golubowski. Okay. Sorry about not having the ability to support. And I, I mean, every. I mean, we've been getting a lot of different uh, sorts of support. Uh, you know, people. Uh, supporting us on the social media, you know, the, sending us an email and vocalizing their support for what we're doing. So yeah, every every support counts. And, I mean, and you know, you you guys, a lot of you guys bought the the, the you know FPV one for yourself, and I hope you will enjoy it as much as we enjoy yeah. 
building it and we enjoy, enjoy it, uh, these prototypes that we're flying ourselves. Uh, but you know, it's it's uh, any any kind of support really really is helpful. So thank you very much. Mike. Yeah. So uh, Thomas Tange. Uh, so check out our uh, oh, yeah. Facebook and Instagram <laughs> story uh, for more information on that. So uh, all of you guys, we have some um, uh, interesting video on our Facebook uh, story and Instagram story. So check it out. Yeah, I, I, I think in the next couple of days uh, there's going to be uh, a, a nice little update on, uh, on, on the DVR. Yeah, like uh, Milo. Milo is asking, Ivan, do you think the deliveries yeah. will be respected? Do you think the deliveries will be respected? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so far, everything go, uh, goes uh, as uh, as planned and scheduled. So if, if there's any delays in, uh, in in manufacturing or or our planned schedule. We'll be communicating those in a, in a timely manner. So basically, everything that was happening in the past couple of weeks uh, has been communicated within uh, one time delay of us knowing what what actually happened and, and, and what we actually did. So uh, we we have been pretty transparent about uh, what's going on and when our payments went through, when we uh, received some uh, parts in house and so on. So we're gonna uh, just keep on doing. Um, uh, as we uh, did so far. Uh, Kurt is asking uh, any idea when in September they can wait, they, they can expect. Not we can't go uh, any more precise than September at at, at, at at this point. Once we have a more solid uh, 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 delivery uh, schedule on particular I mean, batches, keep, keeping up with, with with you know with the transparency. Standards that we set. The, the really, you know, the single biggest uh, item on the critical path and the most important item on the critical path is really the tooling. Yeah. And it, the, the timing of both the August and September, and so uh, uh, you know, it's it's mostly about tooling. So if tooling goes as we expected and as we planned. Uh, we'll be able to hit all the deadlines. Yeah. So the September and October deadlines are Should more about uh, are not so much about tooling. They're more about uh, 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 you know uh, us being really uh, careful with with uh, using the funds from Kickstarter and ordering components in a timely manner and organizing that sort of process. And that's not about the the, the uh, you know tooling critical path. It's more more about the logistics. Uh, but but you know, tooling of the August batch can really you know push everything uh, away. But we'll we'll make sure that we communicate uh, uh, all of these information as promptly as we've been communicating with with our supporters so far. And somebody asked about yeah, uh, Frederick uh, asked about. Different parts ordered. It seems that not all of his parts. Were. So I think you know, uh, uh, Frederick's parts were not ordered and not listed in the invoice. I think now we'll have time between now and August. We'll have time to consolidate yeah, yeah. all those things and then make Frederick make sure that you contact us uh, and uh, we'll you know we'll, we'll make sure that all, all all this mess with people ordering. One yeah, package it, and then changing it. We had a lot of changes, didn't we? Sure. So, but but but, but it's uh, uh, much more simple uh, than than it might seem. So basically, we got all of your uh, uh, upgrades and increases in Indian pledges uh, noted. So once uh, we will be collecting your uh, uh, delivery addresses, shirt size, and uh, color of your goggles, we're gonna also be validating uh, your additional pledges that you did in addition to. Uh, original reward. So, for example, if you bought uh, FPV one and you increased your pledge to get uh, um, FPV Connect and FPV Play as well, we're going to validate that at uh, the survey that we're going to um, uh, send out probably tomorrow because it's uh, pretty much automated in uh, in a Kickstarter process. Yeah, Michael Golubowski uh, is asking about uh, the patch is really impressive. And uh, sure, would love to see a radiating, radiation schematic. I, I think, uh, are we talking about Pro here or the... Um, I, I don't think we're talking about Pro, I think we're talking about the, the, the original. But we, um, we do have, I think, in, I think the, in, all, in, all our, in all our packages you, you get radiation uh, 
our draft. Yeah, but we still won't have the. Uh, Specific questions? Feel free to, to send us an email, and I'm, I'm happy to happy to. So, who in North America will be servicing and repairing these? Uh, so, uh, we have a reseller in the United States. Uh, they're going to be uh, taking care of our uh, uh, repair units. Uh, we're still finalizing the details with the uh, 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 reseller, but we we can't tell you the name. But yeah. you have most definitely heard about them, and uh, you know yeah. about them, and they are a recognized brand yeah. in the F3 community. So, so don't worry, Jason. But Orca, because of the design, but you don't uh, find that more than 800 euros. So, Greg, yeah. Um, I understand 800 euros is, uh, is a it lot is of money. It is quite a lot of money. Yeah, but um, I don't know. I, uh, I, 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 our campaign is validation that, that, that people are willing to spend for the... Um, well, there's definitely a, a market for high-end goggles, but still there's a lot of people that you know, can't justify spending that much money for goggles, and I can, I can definitely understand that. Now, that being said, I mean, I've been saying this quite a lot. These goggles are a very aggressively priced piece of hardware. Yeah. If we've priced it as a multiple of how much it costs to build, how much it costs to buy all the components, not just you know buy and assemble them, just buy all the components, it should be priced much more than we've priced it. Yeah. And you know, it's it's with with OLED micro display technology, this is basically you know the major cost driver, and until uh, OLEDs can be manufactured more cheaply, I don't think we're going to see cheaper goggles of this, you know, within, in, in this panel size, this field of view, and, and this level of, of, of performance. Now, as, as I've, I'm sure I've, I've, you know, a lot of people have, you know, a lot of you have heard about that, but we are planning a junior version of the FPV-1. It's going to be called FPV-2. And uh, they're going to have smaller micro displays, and with smaller micro displays, we'll be able to, you know, get the cost down significantly, and you know, uh, you'll be able to enjoy uh, most of the features of FPV One with smaller. It's it's like buying a smaller TV, you know. And a lot of people, especially a lot of, a lot of racers, say that they don't. You know, they, they prefer smaller panels, smaller field of view, and you know, when you, if, you, if you use smaller panel, the field of view is automatically smaller. So, you know, uh, a lot of people will, you know, uh, it, for a lot of people, it, it will make more sense actually to go for a cheaper product for smaller micro display. And you know, that's not to say that everyone will be inferior. It's it's just going to be you know a different size TV in yeah. effect. But you know what? Uh, 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 although a lot of people said that you know I prefer a smaller, smaller panel, smaller field of view. When they, when they try this really big yeah, field of view, there there's they, 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 I, I I actually had a, a couple of people yeah. changing their mind and saying you know screw you know I I can live with with, <laughs> with this nice big big image. So yeah, I mean I understand this this uh, eight hundred <laughs> eight hundred euros. Is, oh, here is doctor again. <laughs> So Dr. Upgrade Singh. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, 800 euros is quite a lot of money. Uh, a lot of people can't justify that. We understand that, and that's why we're bringing out F3 2, which is going to be a compromise and a cheaper, cheaper uh, product. Okay, so we have a couple of more questions in the in the comment section. So Noah is asking when will uh, ADBI patch be shipped? So to um, uh, some of you, including you, it's going to be shipped uh, soonish. Uh,
but with the uh, uh, rest of the uh, backers from the Kickstarter, we're still waiting for the um, uh, small cable that uh, goes uh, with, the, uh, with the antenna. So once we get that uh, in-house, we're gonna uh, ship it. Uh, some of you asked about DVR again. So check out our Facebook and Instagram story to get uh, uh, wait a couple more days, or wait a couple more days to get a uh, 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 full picture of how it works. Uh, uh, Noah, hi Noah. Noah has asked HDBI antenna. What is going to? I be just answered that. <laughs> oh, you did. Sorry, <laughs> I was reading. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Uh, are the pro antenna ready to be shipped out yet? Uh, very soon, we're uh, still waiting for the uh, cables uh, that go in the package with the uh, uh, antennas. Uh, the is asking change from 4x3 to 6x9. Yeah, it will work. I mean, yeah. it's just changing the resolution, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. Is the FPV2 will have the same features? Uh, we still haven't not we yeah. still have not decided about have the not final features uh, completely. Uh, I'm, I'm personally on the fence about it. Um, I think the, the the smaller you know the displays are going to be the, the, the major cost driver. So we haven't decided yet. That's that's the answer. And somebody somebody asked if we should nod whether live streaming will yeah. or not. So uh, I mean entirely honestly, we we uh, you know this is still the, the uh, the hardware that we're using for the uh, 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 Connect module should support streaming, and all the hardware in the in the goggles should support streaming. And we see no reason why we shouldn't be able to implement streaming, but we haven't implemented yet the streaming. Uh, and uh, at, at for the moment. The, the module is going to support, uh, uh, you know, receiving files, or downloading files from your goggles, from your SD card to your mobile, and then sharing it from your mobile phone. Uh, it's going to support uploading files from your mobile phone to your goggles. It's going to support updating firmware, you know, so you download your firmware through our app. You know, new firmware is available. Would you like to download? Yes. Would you like to update your goals? Yes, and then just everything happens automatically. That's that's you know we can do that. Uh, but streaming, we're planning live streaming and we're working on live streaming, but we haven't implemented it yet. And uh, you know I'm not gonna say we're gonna you know we're gonna uh, uh, you know support that. I you know, would like to be able to say that, but we haven't done it yet. But it's in the works and it should work. And let's just see. I mean, yeah. So uh, Noah, didn't you say it will be shipped with an angle and no cable? What did you change? Uh, I think I, I think you're referring for uh, uh, on a conversation uh, here in our office. I was uh, I think I was explaining that uh, we're not going to we're not going to be accessories company, uh, but yes, we are going to ship uh, our fetch antenna with the, with the cable. I think it makes sense uh, to uh, ship out the full product. Yeah, I mean if if you if you you know. How I'm seeing things is, especially if, if we're shipping stuff from our web shop, you know, when you get the product, you would like to be able to, you know, try it on immediately. So, you know, that's why I think, and you, you really, you know, there's, you can't really... Okay, are we back? Okay, good. But, but on the other hand, as Ivan says, you know, that, that's, then you're just being, you know, a, 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 a accessory company yeah so typically you know I expect that our products will be mostly bought from uh, you know resellers that people are buying their FPV equipment from so you know we'll be you know, clicking and buying you know, FPV uh, Ultra FPV P1 patch or P1 Pro patch and then you'll just you know put uh, a stem or an angle in your in your in your you know basket yeah. but uh, What's the SD card size? Do you, do you remember asking that question? Oh yeah, I mean, we, we actually, we actually there's, there's been a lot of questions and uh, so yeah. basically we're going to support uh, all the standards. It's, it's, it's in our frequently asked questions. Uh, we're going we're gonna to distribute those uh, uh, soon. Uh, so basically we, we support all major, all major file uh, systems. 
So you'll be you'll be you'll you'll be able to record over 64 uh, gigabytes. So no problem with that. Okay, so Milo is asking about the uh, app download. So it's still in the works. So uh, our um, uh, first target is to make uh, first milestone is to make the hardware working, and in parallel we're, we're working on the uh, app for Android first. But when we release, it's going to be uh, uh, cross-platform, so we're going to be able to have both uh, iOS and uh, Android app. But uh, we still cannot assess the uh, release date for um, FPV Connect and the, and the app, but once we have those dates, uh, we're going to be talking about it. The way he says, get to work, stream from Google. <laughs> yeah, man, we're, we're working on that. This is my, this is my, uh, this is my big... I mean, do you mean for watching movies? Shane Dave is asking, are we still on target for always delivery? Yes, we are. Yeah. So no major, no no major disruptions to date, and uh, we will we'll keep you posted on you know when we get more clarity on the dates and the rest of the good stuff. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, Shane. We're gonna be putting a lot of uh, attention to our uh, uh, Kickstarter. Uh, uh, backer. So uh, until we ship out the last unit, uh, you guys are going to be our uh, first and the, the only priority and focus when it comes to communication about what's happening and, and all. The oh details. yeah, I think that's I think that's that's the big big one really. What what we've yeah. we've, what we've decided that you know we've been communicating. I mean, even has been doing most of the. Even and Dominic have been doing a lot of commu communication. With, and we've, we've tried to cover uh, you know, a lot of channels, uh, you know, from email to Instagram to thousands uh, of Facebook, thousands of messages. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we've had a lot of face-to-face -face contacts. We've been traveling a lot, showing the product uh, in Las Vegas and Paris. And you know, we've, we've, we've got a bunch of pilots from all over Europe. There's here really in the Netherlands for past couple of months. Yeah, well. I mean, we, 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 we have a couple units in the States. Uh, we have actually one unit in the States. One unit, uh, but then one in the States is, 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 is not really a circulating among the FPV. Among the FPV. Okay, it's, 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 it's forget about the units in the States. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we, we've, bottom line is we've been communicating on a lot of, lot of fronts. And uh, we've, <laughs> now we've decided to really put our focus on our Kickstarter backers. And, uh, you know, this is gonna be, for us, this is gonna be a lot less communication through the, all the FPV you know, Facebook groups. And uh, it's gonna be mostly about engaging with all you guys that have supported us. Yeah. Mm. You guys say we should proceed. So yeah, I know maybe we should clar clarify. There were different perks on the on the uh, on the Kickstarter. So if you yeah. bought an August delivery perk, uh, an item, then you get the August delivery. But this was limited batch because you know we want to scale our production. We don't want to. So we didn't we didn't really want to uh, have to do a lot of units too early. So we, we wanted to limit the number of units that we're going to do in August. So that's why we, you know, there was a limited number of, of units to be delivered. But if you clicked on these uh, and bought these August delivery items, then you're going to get your August delivery. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be in September or October. Yeah. Uh, so Kurt, uh, the address is going to be collected uh, in a survey that we're going to circulate uh, on the Kickstarter probably tomorrow. So don't worry about that. Okay. Um, do we have more questions? Yeah. Oh, this is a great oh, question. Oh yeah. Uh, Hendrik Brekstra. I uh, was, Would we consider a collaboration with Davide from FPV Blue for low latency sensing? Uh, uh, I mean, we we've been talking to Davide. Uh, 
for, I mean, as we first spoke to him way, way back. Uh, I, was, I was really a fan of his work. And we, we spoke uh, fairly recently again. And I would really like to work with Davide. And I think he is somebody that uh, we could work with. Uh, we haven't discussed any details, but I think there's a lot of room for cooperation. We would definitely love to support low latency uh, 720p uh, video. And, you know, that, that's especially for, for uh, long range. I'm building my first long, long range uh, uh, quad 7 inch, and I would love to be able to fly in, 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 in 720p. Um, will there be an option to back up all your goggle set? That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't see why not. I will battery case have a balanced out for charging too? I don't know. Balanced out? I don't know what that means. Mm. I totally <laughs> really agree. <laughs> okay, anyone interested in my world? No. <laughs> no, thank you, keep it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to quit. <laughs> <laughs> How to switch from August to October? Why well, would you want to do that? Question. I think we can do that. Oh, yeah, we can. We have a lot of interested, interested people. Yeah, we can. Like, get, get in touch, uh, Eckhart. Did you get in you touch? Mean, balance cable, yeah. But yeah, 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 balance cable. Sure. Yeah, sure. sure. Um, there's a difference in my audio config, I switched somewhere. Will it be awesome as we all hope? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I believe we can recharge the Alex, yes, yes. Live will first sell. Yeah, yeah. We're we're gonna have a balanced life. Can you charge the Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah, yes. Julian Bader, you, you can charge it. Eckert Wenger. Uh I don't know. I, I think you should get in touch. You should send an email. And I don't know. We'll see check out check out the comment section. Uh, check out the comment section with the with the Kickstarter. Maybe uh, consider sending a message to someone who is uh, keen on getting an August unit. So I don't know. I think you'll, but you'll, can we can we do that? Yeah, yeah. It, it should not be difficult, especially if their uh, pledges match. Okay, I don't well, know. I let's. I think this is so. Basically, these kind of questions we're we're gonna address it through a Kickstarter. I'm gonna make sure to answer all of our messages like I did. Yeah, as I said, you know, we are going to we we've agreed to kind of focus our communication to with with the backers going forward until we deliver every last uh, a bit. Michael, but the truck driving by outside sounds great. Sorry, Michael. No, no, no. The, the, the truck is Watch not out for a truck. <laughs> Watch out for a truck. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. No, it was just our account. Yeah. Just joking. Can you charge the batteries with no. USB cable? No. No, Tim. Unfortunately not. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if we show guys what's happening outside. So uh, for um, for today's Q and A, we we thought about dedicating uh, a piece of time to answering all your questions, and uh, actually. Uh, outside of the office is uh, a, there's a small uh, party happening, so maybe if we do. I wouldn't call it a party. It's no, like it's like just a, just a it's get just together. A get together, yeah. Definitely. Is it possible? To, no, Kickstarter is closed. But get in touch. We'll see what we can do. Can we? No. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, USDC, I hope. Okay, yeah, USDC. The FPV play the, the, the FPV Connect has uh, USB C on one side and micro HDMI. No, I think it's, it's referring to charging the batteries with the. Oh, USB with USB C. No, unfortunately, okay. we're not going to support that. Uh, will FPV play work with on any goggles with HDMI? No. Now that that is. So two 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 parts of the questions. Uh, will will FPV play work on any goggles with HDMI? So. It's really up to the up to the HDMI receiver in the device to to really support or not support uh, a lot of this. So if if if, uh, if, if, the, if, if the goggles can show the 
resolutions that the cable supports, then it's, it's, it's going to work. So it really, it really depends on the goggles, J. Smith. And are we working with anyone on a simulator to support it? Yes, we are talking to um, a couple of uh, simulator uh, 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 companies, brands. And uh, I personally think that you know, FPV1 should be a number one and your go-to goggles for simming because we can show the best image on the market. The, the micro displays really, I mean, you, if, when you're flying uh, uh, analog FPV, you're not seeing 30% of what these amazing panels can do. And only when you plug in the HDMI, you get that full crispness of color, of detail, and you know it, that that then it makes sense to have this nice big field of view. And I think this will come out in in the simulate in, in, in Sims amazingly. And I, this is why I think everyone is the number one platform, not just for for the 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 you know your normal FPV flying, it's going to be definitely the best, the go-to platform for simming. And I think that, you know, simming is, more, FPV sims are, are really one of the great ways to grow the hobby. And uh, yeah, so so we are talking to some mm -hmm. people who are very, and I, you know, I would love to see an amazing mobile, uh, mobile smartphone sim. Yo, who's to look? You live with Ah, you can't live with an empty bottle. So yeah, I think gaming, gaming is the future, so, so yeah. Uh, Marcel, uh, you have some uh, interesting uh, content on our uh, Facebook story and Instagram story about our DVR progress. So Mar Marcel, so DVR footage, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, show DVR footage very soon. Uh, and so, uh, as, as far as the footage in the inside the lenses, I think Joshua Barwell did, I think, probably the best in goggle footage. And we didn't change the, the, the engines and we didn't change the optics uh, a, a lot. So if, if you look at the uh, Joshua Barwell video that he did when we were back in January in, in Vegas, this should give you a pretty good idea of what you can expect from from the panels, from from our our goggles. You know, as much as you can capture that on you know a, 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 a camera. <laughs> Michael, you he's been smoking something. <laughs> these really? these ideas can't come just like that. <laughs> Laser microphone. I like uh, how you think. Uh, Milo, the, the, the distribution is going to start at the, uh, the same, in about the same time in, in both Europe and the United States. So, Mika joined. Hi, Mika. Can you use Android VR apps with the play? No, fortunately not. Uh, Tim Lowen asked, can we? Can they use Android VR apps with the FP play? No, we don't. Have, we don't have the telemetry, uh, but that would be an awesome thing to do. Uh, uh, Tom CBD Primo, can he use our goggles with his Medicare to use the... So, uh, two, two questions about the... About the uh, so, uh, it depends on if, if, you can, if you can plug... So, our goggles, if you plug them to uh, an HDMI source, you'll be able to... So, so it's, it's up to uh, the... Your, your your UAV platform, your 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 quad to uh, give you the HDMI output. If you're not getting HDMI, if you, if you can't have HDMI output to plug our goggles in, you know you're not going to be able to get. And uh, how close are we to uh, low uh, low latency HD? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I know that that the that uh, the work uh, that David is doing for an FV Blue, I think is is his. Uh, either receiving pre-orders and about to receive pre-orders. I haven't seen 
uh, his latest product, but I've seen uh, videos of some early versions that RC Shin did, and it looks really promising. And I think I definitely think that the future of FPV is going to be digital, and uh, it might be sooner than we think. It might be, you know, not as soon as we hope. Uh, but I would, I would definitely love to see. And this is why we built the goggles, HD goggles, not, not full HD, but you know, HD ready and 180 by 960. Well, definitely mm -hmm. high resolution goggles, yeah. uh, because we think that uh, the future should be both digital, future of FPV should be both digital and high def. Yeah. That's definitely how I would like to fly. The wine bottles, yeah, we received the wine bottles, uh, I, I think, uh, some uh, week ago. Uh, I drank one bottle of wine back, back, back home, but for next live, uh, we're going to make sure to drink some nice French uh, uh, red wine that... Uh, if there's any, any left. Yeah, I, I, I think there's three bottles okay. left, yeah, okay. so... The delivery is Michael Cor Corliss, delivery dates are still on target, we'll keep you posted. Uh, uh, reviewers, okay, when will reviewers get their hands on, on the final product? So we have around uh, 650 uh, people that uh, pledged for the Orca FPV1 and I'm pretty sure once uh, we start shipping to all those people they will uh, start uh, coming out with their uh, own reviews uh, but also um, we're not going to go wide with the reviewers there are just uh, I don't know a uh, couple of names that we're gonna uh, send out units for review but uh, we are um, I don't know and okay Marcel yeah. is asking a really good question what about the face mask he heard the goggles are not fit really oh. well at the moment sure, so, sure. I, I think no you can, you can bring some but yeah, but, um, yeah I mean, it, this, this was true we, we had a couple of iterations back in the past, we had a couple of iterations that we weren't really entirely happy with. I was not happy with the ones that we had in Vegas. They were sitting on my nose and kind of pinching me here. Uh, but the latest, uh, the latest, uh, uh, um, uh, what do you call them, the, the uh, uh, foam, foam pads that we got, we basically got three sizes that you'll be able to, to, to try out. So we're gonna have this. These are just the prototypes, so they're kind of messy. So there's gonna be the thinnest one, the middle one, and the thick one. So when I put the thick one yeah. on on these on 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 this on, on this uh, on this one, it's it really fits nicely. And the great thing about it, I'm gonna getting closer. So this is this is how the the, the final one is gonna look like. So you know. You, 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 this is, this is self-adhesive, so you can stick it anywhere you like. So depending on the shape of your nose, so if you have a big nose like I do, you will want, you know, you will want this not sticking here, you will want it sticking here, closer to here. So when they sit, they don't, they don't sit here, they can sit more on, on the ridge of your nose. This is what I really love about this design, because you can, you know, I wanted, I, I had this idea that we should have different um, in nose inserts of different thickness, like in some, for, for example, my my, um, uh, 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 my my glasses have these different sizes of, of, of nose piece that you could just. But this is way better. So we, I thought we, we could have this sort of design implemented here, but it's not really possible to, to do it uh, 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 in, in an elegant way. So you know, this is really a great solution that uh, kind of was you know done by accident. And you can you can really use this flexible part and stick it wherever it fits you the best, and because there's not there's not there's no you know given shape of the of the face plate. So you know, bottom line is I am you know in the past we did have some issues. I had some issues with some of the uh, previous uh, foam pads and uh, the the face plate designs, but now this is just perfect. I love, I love, I really love these. Yep. And with the, for me, it's the thickest one, with 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 the nose bit sticking right here. It's really great. It's really amazing. Evan Turner is asking: Is there an approximate refresh rate 
on these goggles, he wants <laughs> Um, refresh rate is what you get on, on basically, you know, the ceiling is what, whatever you get from your uh, RX, so what you receive, so it's, it's PAL NTSC, so it's, it's like 60 frames per second interlaced, so. Marcel, yeah, you, you're able to use uh, your old FetchArt diopters, so they retrofit in the FPV one. Yeah, and we're we're also we're also working on a solution that will enable you to get your custom. So if you have like cylinders or some special kind of glasses, you'll be able to do uh, your custom uh, custom uh, uh, lenses just for you. So we're we're still working on that, but that's like nice. Yeah, yeah analog FPV is not maximum FPS. It, I think it, it can go up to 60 interlaced. So it's like every second line is being shown on a, on a 50 FPS or you get like 25 but yeah or something like that so yeah I think is that it? do we have do we have Yeah, okay, well, well, <laughs> once we thanks, did, Jan. Thanks once again. What colors did you end up with? Um, you know, we're gonna announce it tomorrow. We collected around one and a half thousand votes for uh, the future colors of FPV1 in addition to uh, default black. So we're gonna uh, announce those details tomorrow. And Will you be making an Orca Rapid Fire faceplate? Yeah, so Rapid Fire, not faceplate, but, but cover. Uh, cover for the module bay uh, is going to come uh, by default with FPV1. So you'll have it out of the box. How long do you guys get warranty? So in the uh, European Union it's two years, and in the United States and the rest of the world it's one year warranty. Make sure that one and a half thousand volts match the, match the, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, but the, the backers will be able to uh, opt from a couple of different, different colors. I, I really hope it, uh, it's going to match your choice. Uh, are there going to be spare parts available if, if they break something? Um, not I, at the I moment. So, yeah. I don't expect you, you, you'll be breaking a lot of, a lot of but if, if you really break stuff, I think you'll be able to, to take them into the repairs and fix. So uh, uh, definitely, a uh, reseller should uh, give you uh, a um, new unit uh, uh, immediately, and then we're gonna uh, take care of the repair in back office, so you don't need to uh, wait for your unit back. Uh, what what record will be PCB in black worker? Maybe, <laughs> maybe yeah. not. We, we 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 did we did we discuss did that with, with, with immersion. But it, it still depends. We, we, we did actually did ask that. Um, Shane, uh, does a crossfire come with our Lush or logo? It's not crossfire, it's rapid fire. <laughs> We're not bundling with crossfire. So there were only six or six breakers. Jason, it let him vote as many times as the sense of key. He could vote multiple mm -hmm. times. Yeah, I mean, on that the democracy. Way. Yeah. That, like, <laughs> Uh, did you want to have a specific goal for the colors? Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the, the 600 backers that, that pledge for the Kickstarter are not the only uh, people that uh, are going to have Orca FPV1 in future. So uh, we think that having a bigger pattern of your um, uh, desired colors is, is, is going to uh, be more valuable input for us. Uh, if Michael drops it and optic breaks, I don't. I don't expect that the that the, the, the optic. I mean, I, I don't drop it. <laughs> you don't. First, don't drop it. Second, I don't think you'll be able to break the optics with just dropping the bubbles. A lot of things should break before that. But uh, it's a good question. We haven't we haven't decided about that yet. It, you know, it, it, being able to support uh, uh, requests like this requires us to have a lot of the spare parts on stock and uh, you know in order to stock any spare parts we have to have some history sure. of what actually people break yeah and in time 
it may well be that uh, we will stock some spare parts if it turns out that a lot of people you know just keep dropping them and something breaks on them but uh, you know this is still for us to kind of uh, grow into and uh, but in the meantime you know as, as we are also you know developing everything about this company, not just the product. Get in touch and we'll see what we can do. Um, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> this, this still won't fall. He's a professional racer, will need a fast replacement if something happens. Yeah, I understand that. Okay, get in touch, we'll see what you like to break and maybe <laughs> maybe you know we can we I can don't know sponsor you with some spare most parts. Of, most of the people keep break stock. roads like propellers and these stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very rarely really people do, do, do break goggles. I, I really don't want to see you molesting the orcas. No, I understand. I, I, Bye too. That, that <laughs> yeah, was my thought. Good, thing, was Scott. good thinking. I like yeah. the way you think. <laughs> yeah, Scott is from San Diego. Oh. Hi to San Diego. Hey, San Diego. Is this it? Are, are we... Are you thirsty? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. Okay, guys. Uh, I drove one on yeah. time in the race, it happens. Yeah, stuff happens. Um, so, okay, let's say, let's say goodbyes. Yep, for now. For now, um, uh, once uh, again... <laughs> Dominic's hand is scraping. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, yeah. it, it really has been uh, one super exciting month. Uh, full of uh, feedback and communication with the community and we heard a lot of really good ideas and uh, we're, we're gonna consider them all for future mm -hmm. products and for future updates of our existing products um, uh, so yeah I don't know I'm really looking forward to, 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 to get the beer in my hand and then kind of enjoy the night and, and uh, I think we're, we're really um, in a way we also deserve just tonight because tomorrow it's a uh, yeah. Day I mean, there's a lot, a lot of work. Uh, as I said, you know, for us, it's, it's just switching from the development to the, of the product to development of the process. Yeah, manufacturing process and putting the quality control and then really, you know, ship shape. So we we not just not let you down, but give you know I. When you when you first uh, or when you open the box and try them try them for the first time, we want you to be wild as as yeah. we were, yeah. and uh, that, we're that's our that's our work going yeah. forward. We're gonna keep in close touch with our backers from the Kickstarter, uh, and we're gonna go. We're not gonna go silent on the rest of uh, on the rest of the people, but we're gonna have a strong focus and priority on the people that backed our campaign. I know you're not going to post on TBS launch anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. No, no, no. No, no. Okay, guys. Okay. He was banned from TBS launch, by yeah. the way. For having a long... Long... Map. Map. Yeah, long yeah. time. Keep it up, guys. guys. Thanks Keep a lot. Thanks a lot.